welcome this is presentation on replacement strategy and pricing so before going to that particular topic first we understand that distributed shared memory dsm it is inter process communication paradigm basically shared memory paradigm it has primitive for shared memory so in that there is a two primitive which first one is read and write read returns the data items refers by address and write saves the content refers by address to the value of data dsm provides shared address spaces shared memory gives the system illusion of physical shared memory and basically it is referred to loosely coupled distributed memory system it is virtual nature so it is also referred to as distributed shared virtual memory so there are so many issues in design and implementation of dsm but actually we are focusing only on two topics that is replacement strategy and pricing replacement strategy actually allows to overcome the dsm system allow to share memory block to be dynamically migrate and replicate there is a issues in replacement strategy are like that which blocks will be replaced and to make space for newly required block and there should be replaced first which block should be replaced it can be classified with the help of two algorithm one is usage based versus non usage based and fixed space versus variable space in usage based versus non usage based algorithm the track of history of usage of catch line is taken care in usage and with the help of that track the displacement decision are taken care and the best example is lrd list recently used and non usage based it does not keep track of the record of usage of catch line when replacement example first in first out and random in first six phase versus variable space algorithm they have in six phase they have assumed catch size should be fixed and it is in more simple selection of specific catch line that is particularly they does not have any complex processes in their implementation and variable space it assumes the size dynamically it is does not fetch imply on replacement and swap out without corresponding fetch actually variable space is does not useful or implementable on dsm system because it know memory that act as cache for virtual shared memory in six size so there is a case study for dsm system of ibi actually it is indicate shared virtual memory at l university this first implementation of dsm on technological board classification of each memory block with the help of a node is taken care in when you need read only read own writable so on the basis of that the priority is used first one and use and read block has the highest priority second one read only block third one is read own and writable block it is having a replica copy of that particular node data on another node and fourth one is same but it has a single copy on that particular node it is identical to that particular node only it has lowest priority so where should we place a replace block it should be taken care that the selected block should not lose their data so there are two situations or two solutions provided to avoid this condition or avoid this problem using secondary store or using memory space for other nodes in secondary store block transfer on local disk itself it does not require any network access and it has a advantage that it does not waste excessive space of memory and second using memory space of another node it is faster in nature as comparatively transfer to its local disk it does memory required each node to maintain table of free memory space in all other nodes so in next topic there is trashing we understand that it is related to time trashing said to be occurred when the system spent a large amount of time transferring shared data blocks from one node to another it is following situation occurred when interleaved data access made by process on two or more nodes basically called as ping pong effect and second one when blocks which read only permission are repeatedly invalidated soon after they are replicated 
so how to overcome this crashing problem there are three methods providing application control locks nailing a block to node for minimum amount of time tailoring a coherence algorithm to share data usage pattern in the first providing application control locks locking data to prevent other nodes from accessing that data for a short period of time can reduce crashing it is also applicable to applications also and nailing a block to a node for minimum amount of time it does disallow the block to be taken away from a node until minimum amount of elapsed after allocation of that node it is has a disadvantage because of it is allocated dynamically or statically it does not give the proper solution so it difficult to choose the value of time and for third one is tailoring the coherence algorithm to share data uses pattern it minimize using different coherence protocol like cache coherence protocol memory coherence protocol we understand replacement strategy their issues their solutions pricing their issues and their solutions thank you very much